can go in through collections and see a history of what a place looked like based on collections. I mean, modern times, there may be a big city in it, but uh, you know, you go back to collections that are even less than 100 years old and say, oh, this type of tree grew there or this kind of plant. You know, there's got to be more located nearby. When we find there's a gap in what was collected, let's say in a, in a forest plot, we'll go through the collection and see if there are specimens related to that species of trees or in the case from the, the same plot. And we can actually get tissue with permissions, of course. We can't just go in and destroy a specimen. We'd have to go through the destructive sampling request. We're able to even get DNA from uh, existing specimens. DNA barcodes are just a very powerful tool for ident plant identification. For anything that is alive, you can identify anything that is alive using DNA barcodes. So it's an extremely powerful tool and it's extra information that is unique to whatever individual you're looking at. And so also in the field, uh, in the case of the rainforest where we work, um, identifying tall trees that are I don't know how many meters, it's not very easy. So you really need to know what you are looking at. Uh, so if you don't have the tools to do that, it's very easy to use barcodes. It's very powerful and it's very easy and effective. So the thing about DNA barcodes is that you do not need a lot of material. So in the case of a plant, we need like one centimeter by one centimeter of a leaf, which is not much. What, what's better to get DNA out of existing collections or something that's fresher? Fresh tissue. Go out to the plant and just get a tender leaf. You're golden. <laughs> yes. But, but that's not possible. But in many, many, many cases, that is not possible. Yeah. Most of, for example, it's not possible to collect a plant that was in a place 500 years ago because it's not there anymore. So that's why we have the collections. And we can get DNA. It is harder, it is much harder. It is harder. The same quality of the DNA? No, it's not. The DNA has degraded. But the beauty of barcodes is that because they are so short, even if highly degraded DNA, you can still get that information. It's just a unique source of information. So it's the power of information that you cannot get from anything else. Thank you.